uh, welcome back dear students this is the video number two number two now we finished already number one and I, and I put them in a serial order for you we stopped on a slide number four and now we were going to complete from where we stopped so i will share the screen just for the um, easiness so that we will go for something that is yes the screen shared now so here we go and that's what we stopped then we said to solve this equation uh, solve this problem and you guys did it allocation according to a ratio allocation according to a ratio like as example this this example is allocate 480 480 the in the ratio of 5 to 3 you can see it here allocate 480 in the ratio 5 to 3 that's fine let us see I will stop sharing and just solve it here on the board we have allocate allocate 480 480 that's fine allocate 480 uh, in the ratio 5 to 3 the ratio is 5 to Three. That's fine. Okay. I will stop sharing. I will stop sharing and go back to our uh, screen here. We want to allocate this $480 as example those are dollars. We want to allocate them by the proportion 5 to 3. That's fine. Okay. Now we'll say the sum of the parts. Sum of the parts will be 5 plus 3 that will comes into eight. Okay. Let's say that this is our four hundred eighty dollars. It will be divided. Someone will take five parts, and the other one will take three parts. So let's say A will take the share of A will be the four hundred and eighty dollars multiplied by five to the total of the parts, which is eight. That's equal. $300. Then the second person will be B, as example, his share will be 480 divided by the rest, which is 3. 3 by 8. That will come to $180. If you sum up both of the, the 300 and 180, they will come to the total amount, which is $480. And that was the second. Okay, now we'll share the screen back. Then we'll go to another slide. That we'll see another slide. Right? Okay. Here we go. As example, in this example, like you see here, it's larger than the, the, the first one. It's larger than the one before, the previous one. As example, here we have, it's the same idea, but we will divide the $72,000 with the proportion four to three to two. It doesn't make sense. It's okay, the same thing, the same idea and the same principle. So we will get the total parts also. There will be four and three and two, that will be nine. Then we will divide the, multiply the 72, 2000 by each part for the total parts of these ratios. I will do the first one, then you guys will do the second and the third. I'll stop share, but just I'll take the numbers first, then I'll stop share so that you can see the board clearly. The number is I want to divide seven, seven, 72,000. 72, this is the number $72,000. I just want to divide them by the ratio four to three to two. Four to three to two, that's fine. Okay, I will do first, the sum of the parts will be four and three and two equals nine. Let me stop sharing so the board will be clear for you guys. I will repeat this part again. I will repeat this part again. I have $72,000. As example, this is my uh, heritage for my kids or whatever. 
and to be divided by four to three to two. Or I want to divide this $72,000, four parts to three parts to two parts. According to this, as example, number A or uh, uh, Mo will take four, four parts, uh, Nathan will take three parts, Amr will take two parts, that's fine. Okay, let's say the first thing, we we'll get the total of the parts will be four plus three plus two, that will equal four and three, seven and two equals nine, right? I will do the first one and you guys do the second and the third one, okay? I will do the first one. So as example, the first part will be, let, let us say this is A, the first part, B is the second part, C is the third part. Okay, I will do the first one. The first one is A. Then I will do the A1 will be, A will be 72,000 multiplied by four by nine. So this one comes to uh, 32,000. Please go ahead for B, the second part, and for C, the third part. Can you do that? Can you do the second and third? To be clear in front of you back, I will clear this area. I just left the first one. We have 72,000 and it's divided by the ratios four, two, three, two, two. We'll get the total, which is four and three, seven and two, nine. Then we'll give, the second one will be, let's see what you will do here in two minutes. Okay. So you did the second thing, you did 72,000, multiply by three by nine, and the third 72,000, multiply by two by nine, and you will get the results. You get your results, that's fine. Let's go now to share the screen back. We'll go to another example now, another slide. Here we go. How can I convert the fraction? This example, convert the fraction into equivalent fraction with the same denominations. This is a new example. Correct, convert the fraction into equivalent fraction with the same denominator or denominators. Okay. Denominators are the one down. What he wants, he gave me three fractions with different denominator. Like this one is three, this one is eight, this one is 12, right? But he want them to have the same denominator. Let us do it on the board and check out. But first I will take the numbers, then I will share the screen. It says here, one third and three, eight, and five, five, twelve. And he want the same denominator. That's fine. Now I'll stop sharing and I will do this on the board in front of you. That's nice. Okay. Now, if I want to do this example, what I will do, I have the common factor in between the three, mean the number, which can be 12 can be divided by 12, and can be divided by eight, and can be divided by three, and no fraction, just correct number, a real number. I guess it's 24. How did I know? You can do this if you didn't, try and you didn't get it, you can multiply the three numbers in each other. But here simply it's 24. It's 24. Why 24? Because 24 by three, it will give me eight. 23 by eight, it will give me three. 24 by 12, it will give me two. So he won the same denominator. 
that's fine. I will do like this. 24, 24, and here, 24, and here for the third amount, 24. That's fine. That's great. What I will do is, I will divide by this number, then I will multiply in the denominator. Let us talk simply, 24 by 3 will give me 8. 8 by 1, 8 by 1 equals 8. 24 by 8, 24 divided 8 will give me 3. 3 by 3 will give me 9. 24 divided by 12 will give me 2. 2 multiplied by 5 will give me 10. Now it seems to be easier because here what I will do is this is 8. What we will do is based on the example. If the example was add, then I will add. If it was subtract, I will subtract. But in the example, he gave me add. One third, three, two, three by eight, two, and five by 12. We will add them. That's the example. So now I have one common factor in the denominator. That's fine. So I will put it here, 24. Then all I will do is add the denominators here. Eight and nine, 17, I mean, I will put the lower number as a common factor because it's a real common factor. And I will add or sum up the three amounts which in the top and the upper part. Okay, eight and nine, 17 and 10, 27. So this is the solution of it. Can you go further, like, if you want just to divide this, you can divide it like this, 27 by three, it will give me nine, and 24 by three, it will give me eight. This is to simplify it to the lowest numbers possible. Okay, so even this will use it in allocating the, 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 the numbers or the amounts into its proportions, like you have an example. After this one, we'll take another example. Let's see. Uh, let's share the screen first. Then, yeah. Then we'll go further to another example. Those are here, some exercises, and I will, my own first homework, I will tell you to do from this. We will tell from this, but I will tell you in the assignment itself, I will put it for you in the assignment. You don't need to write it down now because I will put for you in the assignment what you have to solve and get back to me with the answers. Let's talk about the proportions. And this is the second part. So I will give one example here, then I will make I will just make an introduction to the proportions and I will put the proportions for the next video. That will be fine. So proportion means uh, it's a relationship between numbers. When two ratios are equal, they form a proportion. As example, if I say, if I say like this, let me share, stop share. Let me stop share so that it will be clear for you guys. If I give an example like this, any example, if I say y by five equals three by, by uh, 10. Okay, simply, this is, is like a Caesar relationship. It's like a Caesar relationship. So you would say three by five for the solution, three by five will equals 
y by 10. So 3 by 5 means 15 equals 10y. Now a by b equals b by a. It's the same. So when I say y10, it's 10y. The same. It's 10y. So now, how will I get the y? The far divided by the stuck into the simple. So the far is 15 divided by the stuck to the simple, which is 10. Then y will equals one and half, like this way. Again, if I have this relationship y by five equals three by 10. We'll do it like a Caesar and this is called proportion. Then three by five will be 15 equals it will be because both of them equal each other from the start itself i know that both equal each other so three by five will equals y by 10. that's fine then three by five would equal 15 equals 10 by y is 10 y y 10 is equal because a and b equals b by a a and B equals B and A, the same idea. Then we'll say here, Y equals the far from the Y is the 15, the far, divided by the neighbor of the Y or the stuck to the Y, which is 10. So 15 by 10 equals one and a half, and that's it. We'll go to the third video. Thank you so much.